So here we go again, now missing only two diamonds. Not only here on Sooner Baton Nepal, but in the entire game, those being Wooly Hair and Snow Leopards. And to this point, Multiplayer has not let us down. We've gotten this far. So we're back in Multiplayer once again, trying to cross another one off the list. So now that we've gotten our Diamond Munchak, the area that we really need to focus on has shrunk tremendously. Now, we can pretty much only spend time in the north of the map. And what I don't want to do is completely limit ourselves just to Himal, because there definitely are Snow Leopards in Pahad. It's normally like this northern part here, but there's so many cool animals on this map, so many unique furs and rares and stuff. I mean, the new Black Buck, for instance, as we took this one down, there's the amazing new Piebald and Albino variants. So I don't want to completely cut ourselves off from opportunities at those. So we're going to be moving our way through Pahad, mostly in the north, like I said, where Snow Leopards tend to be, and eventually into Himal and up through there as well. You know, in addition to, like, all the other stuff we talked about, we still do need one more female rare tar. We got that albino, and hopefully down the road we can eventually get a great one. And if we can put all that together in a multi-mount, that would be fantastic as well. So another advantage, kind of, to going through Pahad, there's actually a lot of tar down here. So as we go along, by the way, I did bring a better Snow Leopard weapon. That's going to be our tar gun as well, the 30-06. So maybe when we get to him today, we won't have to take him with the 243. And, along with trying to get those other things we mentioned, it officially begins going after every single warning thump we hear, checking tracks, and trying to look for a max red estimate woolly hair. There seem to be quite a few of them we find typically at least one or two per hunt, but most of those end up being level twos. This guy is a silver at 2.46, got him in the back of the head. Didn't really try to do that, but we'll take that. One of the few times... We actually just spotted this snow leopard in the distance, no call, no nothing, and didn't get, like, any kind of warning call to know he was out there. Got him respotted there. I gotta feel like that was a good hit. I was surprised he didn't just immediately drop. See if he actually went down. He didn't yet. I'm not so sure that's gonna be a vital, I mean, a 30-odd six shot. I think even single lung one of those probably drops him. And he sure looked to be the snow variant, which he is, just so happens his tracks were right here. But, took us a little while, and Joe figure just got into Himal, and we finally find a Snow Leopard. So that's gonna be the blood, and it does look like it was too far back. It must have been so close. He still won't have gone very far. You can see the blood there, medium bleed rate, and they don't seem to run that fast. He's 25 to 50 there, and actually laying just down over the hill from us. So, maybe not the greatest start, but if we're gonna mess up the shot, might as well do it on a lower level one, like a level six. So, what do we do here? Dumb contestants, we were close. Kind of had the angle in there, but not enough penetration from the 30 out six. Would have needed to be a good bit further forward. But a 26.66 as our first one, finally. And hopefully, you know, now that we're into him all, we can start to encounter more of them. And go figure. Got a mythical Tibetan fox out there we just had talked about using the 30-06 today on Snow Leopards instead of the 243 like we did in yesterday's video. And now we're going to be going right to the 243, and it's going to be interesting if we end up making a better shot on the Fox than we did on the Snow Leopards. So if we hop up here, he can't have gone all the way down over just yet. Where did he actually get to? I'd imagine he's probably in the brush. Because he was going straight across. Let's just mark where he was. Oh. He did the thing where they, like, start walking? Well, never mind the whole 243 thing, because that wasn't exactly difficult, but we'll take it, I guess. And at this point, just a decent little bonus kill. Pretty good one. About .17 shy of diamond, but a red variant one as we're checking for more snow leopard tracks. And go figure, got another mythical Tibetan fox. Maybe this time we actually have to hit it on the move? Kind of a weird distance, too. That was probably close to being too low, but... That was kind of what we were going for on the last one. And maybe a different variation this time. I think that may be the orange variant. And the question is, because I did spot all these yak, I didn't see anything special. Are we going to be charged by any? I don't think we are. Which, quite frankly, I am fine with, because kind of not the goal of today's hunt. And yeah, looking like they're just going to do their thing. So, ran right past our fox. Well, that's the red variant again. He's a little bit smaller. I can't even read that. 5.76 on that one. And yeah right across the bottom of the vitals, but at the very least, still showing the 243 can get the job done. Man, finally, 
a level three woolly hair. This is a male. I've been tracking a max with estimate female. That one there. And it leads us to that for like the 10th time. Two big ones in the same group. All right, make sure we get that. And they absolutely troll. So I'm shooting the big female too, just in case. Man, do I hope he makes it. It really seems like they're hard to find. Now, maybe not as difficult as Mountain Air because Mountain Air don't inhabit as much of the map over on Reventuli Coast, but they're a struggle. And if this guy makes it, that can make life a whole lot easier, only needing a Diamond Snow Leopard. So fingers crossed as we pick this up, Diamond Wooly Hair 3.35. Man, that could have been such an annoying one out of the way. So now we can really just focus it on Snow Leopards. We don't have to go and try to pick up tracks every time we get a warning thump. It's just not my favorite way to hunt. I like to go for, you know, larger animals, big game, that kind of thing. And of course, try to get a diamond of every species. The small game has to happen eventually. I like this dark brown fur type too, but man, finding that while chasing snow leopards, while, you know, not just forever trying to get these things is super, super nice. The female weird track was 2.98, leads us to a diamond one instead. That is awesome. I'm so glad that let's say in a couple days, maybe we find a diamond snow leopard, that we aren't just running around this map looking for heavy woolly hair tracks. We have that one out of the way. I do have to say, it is pretty nice to hear those warning thumps and not have to worry about going and chasing these guys down. Now, I say that, there's some pretty cool rares. That white variant obviously is really cool and albino for these things, so we'll still be checking in on ones that are right near us. But having that one cross off the list is pretty darn convenient, especially when the Snow Leopards are just not cooperating. And go figure, we literally already have our Diamond Wooly Hair, and we just keep on finding heavy tracks, and we gotta go and chase them down. Looks like another, maybe Dark Brown, I can't tell, but just a level two. Not sure if those rocks would have stopped our shot, but figure we better go ahead and get that in there. And I have no idea if we should really spend that much time chasing them, but I've hardly gotten used to hearing the warning thumbs and going and checking them out. We get our diamond, and then I just kind of keep on feeling compelled to do so. It's 0 .01 kilograms into the max weight estimate, so barely even had that 2 to 3 kilo range, but didn't take too long to find, so no big deal. Well, unfortunately, some snow leopard hunts clearly go better than others, and I think given the fact that we got our diamond woolly here today, we're just going to accept our lack of success on this hunt and take our woolly hair back to the lodge. So I think we did manage to get a lung there with the 300 AR. Might have been the first time we fired it today. A lot of smaller game, like a bunch of fox, obviously the woolly hair that we chased today. Getting the diamond though. A lot of you guys predicted that the snow leopard hunt, trying to get a diamond snow leopard, could be as bad if not worse than the quest for a diamond bobcat over on New England. I was pretty sure that we'd be able to get a diamond snow leopard, let's say before we get every other diamond on the map, and here we are, only lacking snow leopards once again. And while I'd like to continue hunting today and trying to find another one, for one, I definitely want to go back to the lodge and place that thing, and also we've been out here a long time and just haven't had much success. So with one final kill here, just a gold dark brown yak. We'll take our diamond woolly here back to the trophy lodge and officially get to that point that we have everything in our lodges minus a diamond snow leopard. And for the first time in a while, we actually get to come back to our main trophy lodge, largely because I don't want to lose track of where we put this diamond woolly here. I've been talking about eventually doing a live stream where we pretty much redo our lodges. Like things such as this right now are just a mess. And I would say sort of a work in progress, but when we get everything put together, this will still be the kind of primary lodge, and I definitely don't want to put our woolly hair in the second lodge and lose track of it. So I'm thinking we can take down this diamond willow ptarmigan because we do have two of them, and we'll do a diamond woolly hair in his place instead. So pretty cool to finally get that one off the list, and that now means one remains, and it is that snow leopard as you guys predicted. Hopefully. We can get that one sometime in the near future. I think as far as that lodge stream I talked about, redoing everything, figuring out how we want to kind of combine the two lodges. If we can have the Diamond Snow Leopard first, I think that makes that a whole lot easier. And we'll see what we can do about that. No doubt, plenty of Snow Leopard hunts in the very near future to come. So I think on that note, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. 
and I'll see you next time.